we need to put some respect on people's names. Who wants to waste clothes? <laughs> then I'm just gonna mute or unfollow. And then you gotta delete render files. Fix your mouth, fix your throat. And you sound so ignorant. Such a problem. Sephora, first of all, I don't appreciate it. Feeling kinda distant. Good morning, welcome to this week's vlog. It's Monday. Yesterday's vlog is going up today. So obviously when you see this, the vlog will have already gone up. Ideally, the vlog is every Sunday, but it was Easter and I just needed a break. So I took a break on Friday and on Sunday, Easter day. So I just didn't have it up. I'm using a new mic. My other mic was getting on my nerves. I have two of the Rode Video Mic Go mics, which I love because they're not battery powered. You just plug it in and it works. But I don't, I have two, so I don't know if, if it's the new one or the old one, but the, the cord, I got a new cord and still I was getting this static. See, for instance, now I hope that that did not give this mic static because when my phone is getting or receiving any kind, receiving any kind of notification, phone call, something, it starts to pick up in the mic and that's a normal thing that what's it called static Ro radioactivity but it's annoying and it doesn't happen thankfully when i'm filming videos but it was happening on this vlogging camera so so enough was enough i got a new mic i'll also link my tripod that i use for vlogging because it's really small and compatible and i can move it up and down and i just love it so yeah and i'll link my i'll just link my vlogging camera as well canon g7x mark three i got the mark three it shoots in 4K. It, you can attach a mic to it. The other one I had Mark II. You cannot attach a mic to it, so it was great. That was the George Floyd trial that was just starting up again. It's 8 a.m. I wasn't planning to watch this. In fact, I wasn't even. I didn't even know what was happening until one day I just saw it on TV and I was like, oh my god. But I can't help but watch it because I want to know what's going on. So I watch it every now and then. It's like uh, it's like a lot. Anyway, yeah. So that's what's going on there. I need to edit today. I'm not filming today. I filmed yesterday. Today I'm cleaning up my studio because it was a mess when I left it quickly because we were going to lunch. I bought a new mirror that I'm gonna put back here one came in but it wasn't working so i need to send it back and then get the, the new one's gonna come on thursday so there's that this week i also have another body cavitation appointment i haven't been eating the best though so clean eating starts now and just for life right it's not just because of this tomorrow i have a photo shoot i need to prepare for that i have some notes in my head I need to write them down I need to make sure my nails are right because it's a skincare photo shoot that i'm doing and the nails always gotta be right i did end up cutting down my other nails but this is not my best nail like cut down like this it's not my fave it worked for the for the past few days but the skincare you know when you're like touching the products and things i want to do a different nail so i'm going to take these off today at some point and do my nails look at this we got a little dry patch i can't do this gotta moisturize my nails can't be having crusty nails when i am shooting skincare content so i'm gonna do that and i'm oh no this is dry oh no and then i'm going to so yeah i'm gonna do my nails today i'm going to oh man i need to prepare a wig you know what i know which one i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my curly wig because it's really cute when i wet it it looks like i just showered and then you know fresh skin it just goes together i need to condition my wig though so i am gonna co-wash my wig because it is looking crazy the back is very crazy it's a curly hair wig so i need to co-wash it those are some clothes that i need to put away so <laughs> i'm gonna put this first aid beauty salve product on my what you call cuticles because these things are nasty looking and this is a very thick balm that I never knew they even had. But when I found out, I was like, I need some of that. So putting it on my cuticles, and I'm gonna just keep on doing this. So my cuticles can be, rehab, be rehabbed because this is just not okay. It's like going into a jewelry store and then the person picking up the jewelry, you follow their hand and you're like, Ew, why do her hands look like that? That ain't gonna work out for skincare content. Do you understand? And just in general, in my life, I don't like all of that. I just use this oat and hemp multi fix, multi fix. So this can actually go on your lips, anywhere on your face, your body, your fingers, wherever you just need intense nourishment. And I like it. There's no scent and it's nice and thick. Cool. I'm leaving a message for an influencer friend about the live I did the other day. Girl, I'm just now listening to your messages. Okay, so you are absolutely right. It is so important. I know years ago, I used to feel like I needed to follow all of the beauty gurus in the community. Obviously, for references, for research, to stay abreast, to network, etc. All of those are good reasons to stay in contact with people in our niche and in other niches. However, when I started to feel like I was comparing myself and feeling distracted and feeling just unhappy with myself based on what they were doing or how they looked, I had to scale it back and protect my, my spirit and unfollow or mute. And 
to me, I'm the kind of person, listen, you can know me in real life and you cannot follow me and I don't care. My worth and my value does not come from who follows me. So I'm okay with people not following me who know me or whatever. And so I exercise the same freedom where I'm like, if something about your page or what have you is just rubbing me the wrong way for whatever reason, for my reasons alone, you know, then I'm just going to mute or unfollow. And that is my prerogative. I do believe that we all have a prerogative as to what we allow in our spirit, in our mind, in our ears, and in, in what we see. So I encourage, I'm so glad that you did that audit. And I do feel like audits are necessary every now and again, because it is real, that whole comparison. Like I used to follow someone who's always working out. She looks so good, like love her body, body is goals, right? But then it was just really eating on me because I'm not anywhere close to where she is. And although I want my body to be like that, I'm not there yet. So constantly, watching her every day on stories and posts wasn't helpful for me. I know that she still look good. If I want to be encouraged, I know where to go, right? But I had to guard my heart and say, you know what? Watching this every day is not helping me at all. So nothing against the person. I have a right to guard my heart. And so I don't believe in that whole mind game of, oh, well, oh, that's rude. You don't follow so-and-so or, oh, wow, that's petty. You don't follow so-and-so. All that, not that not that you're saying this, but I just, people say this, right? It's called manipulation. Mm -hmm. And it's called that we're adults mm -hmm. and we have a right to follow or unfollow whomever we feel. I did that. And it doesn't mean that I hate the girl. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that right now in my life, I don't need to be seeing this, period. You know, and we have that right to do that. So anyway, I'm so happy to hear from you. You know, I love your content. I love what you're doing. I love your confidence. I'm all about it. I support you 100%. You know that. So anyway, have a great day. So that was a conversation that was, it jumped off of the live that I had done two weeks ago, which I do need to go alive again. My goal was to go live every Thursday, but this past Thursday, I didn't listen. <laughs> Just a lot of things, you know, but my goal is to go live each Thursday and I have a different, a bunch of different ideas and the goal is to, to do them on Thursdays and it's going to be at 11, was it 10 or 11? It's during the day. I can't do nighttime because nighttime is family time. Just can't do it. Weekends. Nope. Can't do it. Too much distraction, too much noise, too much going on. So it has to be during the day. And obviously morning-ish is good so that in the afternoon I can continue with my day and do whatever I gotta do. Because if the live is a, is a makeup tutorial, I'm not doing makeup at two o'clock, you see? So it has to be early enough. So yeah, Forza, I'm listening to Nay. Is it Nay or Nay? Oh my God. I'm gonna put our name here for you so you can see. Uh, Huda just knocked on the door, DHO. It comes straight from Dubai, which is so awesome. I think that's just amazing, right? I just got these three products in. Are you even checking for these? What do you think? This is the Huda Brown obsessions and it came with this mask although the mask is darker than what she has on but still really cute so i appreciate that ow let's see what we have all right so we have toffee brown caramel brown chocolate brown mm -hmm. they'll be in still be available in store on four or five. Oh, today <laughs> so they're available in store today and they're 29 dollars all righty let's take a look at these are you planning on getting these at all i to be watching this it is the Sephora VIB sale. So what you thinking? Let's see, this is Toffee. Ooh, I like the color in the middle. It's a muted yellow. That is gorge. Ooh. You know I like the Topaz Obsessions palette a lot. Very great eyeshadow palette for beginners. I do like it. I did this really, really nice makeup look on IGTV. Y'all loved it. I should actually bring it to YouTube, shouldn't I? That was before I had YouTube. This one is gorgeous. Caramel, ooh, my kind of shades. Nice and red, nice and warm. You know, I love me some warm colors. Oh yes, this is gorgeous. Yo, I be feeling like I need to do a video for every eyeshadow palette that I have. But then that's like so much. Chocolate brown. Oh, I'm shocked. Okay. This is more pink. Pinky. I was thinking more chocolates, but okay. It's different than what I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> it's different than what I thought it would be, but still very beautiful. Ooh, I love the packaging too. Really high quality. No scent, which is a good thing, it's fine. Oh, I love these. Let me know if you want a video on these. I do feel like it needs three different videos, but on different topics, obviously. All right, upgrade to my studio. Mind you, I have a studio tour video on my YouTube channel. Just, you know, you can literally just search studio tour Minna Adubia or just go to my channel. <laughs> you can find it there. But I, I did a little upgrade, okay? 
Got a new mirror to put behind me. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Amazon. I wanted to get the Impressions Vanity one, but that one is really expensive. This one is Amazon. It's just beautiful. This is from Offer Up, but I will find a dupe and link it for you. The table is Ikea. Again, watch my studio tour video, but I love this and I love how you just turn it on and off and you can lower it or brighten it up if you want to. It's just so beautiful for me. I love it. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm on Clubhouse. I didn't make sure I wasn't like being heard. I just hopped in. I went from one Clubhouse room, which was two hours long, into now another Clubhouse room. And I'm editing a video. I was cooking while I was in the room number one. And now I'm editing a video listening to room number two in my ears. I need to wash this wig. It is so trifling, like, you know, trifling. Yeah. It's really not okay. And I know that. I just don't feel like washing it. It's very snolly, you know? Do you see all of this? Such a problem. <laughs> I need to wash it. All I gotta do is wash it, comb it, condition it. I'll be good. She's just tangled, like a tangled web. <sighs> yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I wanna sleep. I should sleep, but I also wanna edit this video. I put out two videos this week so far and I would love to get this video up tomorrow. That'd be three videos on YouTube in one week. That's a lot, you know what I'm saying? That's out of my norm, you know what I mean? But we are gonna see. Hey Big Head smells so good as well, loving this. Oh my God. Does anyone else on stage have any questions, things they'd like to chat about. Mena, go ahead. Yes, hi, this is Mena speaking. I would love if you could, as much as as much as much appropriate, if you could share with us some behind the scenes as a, you know, as the PR or the brand person, what it looks like when we're talking about the timeline between when you give us, you know, if we're, we're onboarded, we're, you know, contract signed, and we have deliverables to create, we've got a deadline, we've sent it over to you, then, you know, I'm sure you have to send it over to someone else and then there's an approval process. Can you can you shed some light on that specifically in terms of what happens if an influencer doesn't do what they're supposed to do? You know, be it follow the brief or sending the sending the deliverables on time. Could you shed some light on how what we do affects you on the brand side. We'd love to hear that. Thank you. Thank you, Mena. That was such a thoughtful question. Um, yes, I can give a little BTS um, kind of in our process. So yes, when you send me your content, it then gets approved upwards. Um, I'm so in awe of you and in all you do. I'm so in awe of you and in all you do. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I was just finishing the doing the finishing touches on my YouTube video. I just uploaded my Sephora VIB sale recommendations plus some empties and other favorites that I've been using that are non Sephora. It's all in one video. It's long. I actually enjoyed talking about it in that way. So I'm going to make it a point to do that more often a roundup of what my favorites are. I'm going to be doing it in terms of home items, Amazon purchases, that kind of thing because your girl be spending and I know you want to know what's going on. Okay, that happened just now. And now I'm sitting on the floor. I like to just change my little change my change my location and stuff i need to work out we gonna see i showered and i didn't really get dressed i'd be at home and i'd be like who wants to waste clothes <laughs> i have clothes to wear in fact the bar in my closet is about to break it's so bad 
it's so bad. I actually have too many things and I do be giving things away, but clearly I need to do more. I need to figure something out. All this, I don't fold my clothes. Uh-uh. I don't like to, I don't like to iron. I barely iron. With working from home, I can really get away with that very easily. I don't like my clothes wrinkled. All of my clothes are hung up. The only things that are folded are like random things. They're not things that I wear all the time. Everything's hung up and the bar is falling down. I was about to click check out for my Sephora purchase, right? So let me show you what I plan on getting. And by the time you see this, I would have already gotten it because this is Friday and you're gonna see this on Sunday or whenever you decide to watch my vlog, which if you're not watching my vlogs, you need to be watching them all the time. First of all, sign up for my text community, TC Stand Up. Second of all, watch all the vlogs up until now. You gotta catch up. You don't just start a new podcast and then start from where they at. Go back to the beginning. You don't start a new series on Netflix or Fubo or whatever and then start from where it's at. Go back to the beginning. So go back to the beginning, okay? Let me show you what I plan on getting. <laughs> like I, obviously I get PR. Obviously I shop a lot with makeup, right? So I have a bunch of stuff, but you can never have too much. And I'd be curious, you know what I'm saying? So here's what I plan on getting. I'm gonna get the Sephora Collection Translucent Setting Powder because Andrea Renee said it was good. So if she said it's good, I wanna try it. And then I wanna, I need to re-up on my Rare Beauty Illuminizer because the one I have is almost done. I love that so, so much. In fact, I might change that to two and get two of them because 20% off. Like like why not? And I know that I can possibly DM these brands to see if I can get some of this stuff, but I don't want to do that. I don't I don't want to do that. I'll buy my own stuff, okay? If it comes in the mail, of course I'm so grateful, but I'll buy my own stuff, okay? And then let's I'm trying to see. You can see what I'm showing you. I want to try this blush because I want an orange shimmer blush that I can put on top. So this is not gonna go all over my cheek as a standalone blush. This is gonna be a topper. You'll see when I get it, I'll show you what I plan on doing with it. And then of course Killian, all because of Angie Renee, she mentioned Killian. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that Jackie has mentioned this. Jackie Aina has mentioned this because she smelled it on Rihanna at her her brand launch at her house, I think. I think that was the whole trajectory, not quite sure. Either way, I need it. So I was literally at the, oh, and Sephora, I'm gonna let y'all know that I don't like that. First of all, as a Rouge member, I was enjoying the free two day shipping. I guess it was cause of COVID. It had to change some things up, collect some more of our coins. I don't appreciate it. Now you gotta pay $15 for the whole year to get the two day shipping. That's a problem. I know it's $15, but still that's a problem. I I don't want regular ground shipping to take two weeks or five business days or whatever it takes. I don't want all that. I want my two days, okay? So if you will, back to the drawing board, if you will, you know, do a little something at least for our squad members, imagine. Anyway, I had to ask. So I am going to purchase the flash shipping because like, who wants to wait? I could go to the Sephora store, but I don't feel like trying to find parking, gotta walk around and you'd be all enticed to get other things. And I don't feel like being manipulated. I don't want any more manipulation. I don't want anyone to force me to get anything I don't wanna buy. I say that with a laugh because no one forces me. It's like, I get enticed and I know like it's a thing. So knowing my temptation and knowing, you know, like my personality, I wanna do what's right. And what's right is to get the flash shipping so that I don't have to wait too long and I don't have to be tempted when I go in the store and my looking eyes be looking eyes. You know how you I be looking eyes be looking eyes? Yeah, I don't wanna have no looking eyes. <laughs> Okay. With the flash ship and the translucent powder, I had another Mugil, Mugil, ah, ah, God of Messi. Kind of for you, kind of saying Mugil. Oh, no, 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 wait, let me go look. Yo, sometimes the accent, mm hmm, you be doing stuff. Mugil, Mugil. Oh, God. Mugler. I know there's an accent to it. You don't just say Mugler. Muggler. Muggler is just so ridiculous. You know, people in different countries, be, they can't stand the American accent sometimes because the way we say stuff is just so stupid. <laughs> like Brazil is actually Brazil. You see what I'm saying? They get annoyed. People get annoyed. It's it's annoying. <sighs> okay. Like Paris is actually Paris. I, I digress. Okay. Bra uh, not, wait, what am I at right now? Moog, whatever. I don't know how you say it. Okay. That one, Alien. Y'all said it was bomb. Someone else said it was bomb and it's out of stock. Like problems, problems. So because I'm getting a perfume, which could turn into two, but I want to be in, I am in control of my universe. <laughs> I want to go in store because I want to sniff number one, Killian. I hope I like it. You know, I might not like it, but I hope I do. Like, why not? I want to sniff Killian. I want to sniff Alien. I want to sniff Angel. So Alien, Angel, Killian. Alien, Alien and Angel are the names of the scents. I don't know how to say the name of the, the brand, so I don't want to kill it. I don't want to, you know. <laughs> I wanna sniff those two. Someone also told me to get Flower by Kenzo. I wanna sniff that as well. I believe I sniffed Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and didn't like it. 
I, I have it here in my favorites just, I don't know, because. And then I wanna sniff Burberry Blush. Listen, I don't even have enough body parts to spray this fragrance, but I just am really in love with fragrance and I guess I'm collecting it now, so like whatever. I, want, I also wanna smell Good Girl by Carolina, okay, see, Carolina Herrera. That's how you say it. You gotta give people respect. We need to put some respect on people's names. And I really do try my best to do that because it is very infuriating, even when my name is mispronounced. Mena Adubia, Mena Adubia is how it's pronounced. Mena, me, na, me, na. Not Mina, not Mena, not Mona. Me, na, Mena, Mena. And I know it's strange for someone that doesn't speak my language to say it because it feels weird. It's like if, like this, Carolina, right? So if, if I meet my, hi, my name is Carolina. And I say, oh, Carolina, good to meet you. To me, that's an insult. That's insulting. She just said Carolina. So where am I now to come and say Carolina? That's rude. Fix your mouth, fix your throat. Go back into your esophagus and your tonsils and fix your mouth and say Carolina. Now, perhaps it's because for a long time I've just been forcing myself to really try to pronounce people's names the right way. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I feel like as a society, we need to do better. Some names are very difficult, I understand that. Ask again, how do you say it again? Case closed. Carolina Herrera. <laughs> I think the H is, is, is silent, right? It's not Herrera. <laughs> Although I know I've said that in the past. Carolina Herrera, you sound so ignorant. Like, really? Like you have never traveled? Like, do you have a passport? Does your passport have stamps? I just wanna know. Calvin Klein Euphoria, I have you? Calvin Klein Euphoria is so old school. It smells so good. It probably is cheesy because it's like no one talks about it, but I recall it smelling really good. So I have that in my favorites as well. It's not a priority. I'm not gonna get it right now, but I like it a lot. And you know, I got some other favorites in here that I just keep because like, whatever. I don't know, in case I just want it. But I thought about getting the Patrick Ta Magic, what, Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronze Duo. I saw Andrea Renee Girl. I watched your video and I thought it was really good. I just know that you're lighter than me. So the way it showed up on her, I don't think it will show up enough on me for me to add it to my collection. Because I I have Charlotte Tilbury, I have Morphe, I have Fenty Thick Mint that I still need to try. I even have the Freestar Bronzer, the, the cream one that I love. And so when you add, it's just like, do I need it? I don't need it. Now, do I need another fragrance? I don't, I understand. I understand your logic. I get where you're going, but listen to me as well. But it is in my favorites in case like one day I change my mind because you know, like things happen and I'm entitled to change my mind, like it's life. I also have in my cart Huda Beauty Kayali Vanilla because Andrea mentioned it and I was like, let me try that out. And then Huda's been sending me PR, which praise his name. I enjoy that. I like it. I'm grateful. And there was a sample of Kaoli vanilla in there. And I was like, ooh, now I understand. It's not your regular Bourbon vanilla that you can assume. This was vanilla with a tinge. I don't know. It's like there's something in there. It's like the pinky is up. It's just like... It's just something I can't, it, it goes like in the back of the brain. It like is something, it kind of gives it like a little tang. Mm -hmm. I have it in here, but it reminds me of something else that I have. So it's not a priority, but it is on my favorite list. Hello. Nest New York has this <sighs> fragrance candle called Wild Mint in Eucalyptus. Lord have mercy. I have the diffuser in the bathroom and every time I'm on God's toilet, I'm inhaling the wild mint and eucalyptus. And I have to say, it, it, it gives for a very pleasant experience. It makes the toileting quite pleasant, you know? It's amazing. So I have the candle and I refuse to burn it. I'm like burning everything else. I'm burning my Jackie Ina candles, which are divine. I'm burning Bath and Body. In fact, Bath and Body candles, wait, Bath and Body is their, wait a minute. I just saw something and I, I haven't clicked on it. Hold on. The Bath & Body order is on its way because they had a sale and I got it. They try to play you, yo. 40% off actually comes out, makes the candles cost more money than if you got it for two for 20, for buy two, get two free. Hold on a minute. What just said? Jesus of Nazareth. I thought that's what I saw. DMX. Oh my God. Oh God. Yo, you know, drug addiction is, oh God of mercy. And then I'm sitting here listening to the George Floyd case. That just gave me a headache. I literally just, I literally just got a headache. I'm watching the George Floyd case, and as much as I don't want to watch it, I I want to know a lot of, I want to know the details. Some of that stuff I can listen to, and then other things I'm listening to, and when I start to envision it, I'm an empath. When I start to envision what I'm listening to, then I start to feel like, I, then I then I have to mute it because I'm like, okay, now I can't listen anymore because now I'm beginning to visualize, and then I'm beginning to like to see myself in that position, and it's too much. I can't lie, I'm not a morbid person, but there's been so much death 
in the past two years or year that I don't know about you, but do you ever think of how you're going to be remembered when you die? How are people going to remember you? How do you want them to remember you? What are you doing every day to make your life meaningful? What are you wasting your time on? What could you do differently? What do you want to focus on? I gotta switch gears because this is like a lot right now. So let me just show you how I clear off my Final Cut Pro in order to make space for another project that I actually need to edit right now in case you're an influencer and or are just curious. All right, I already started doing this, so that's why you're not going to see everything that's here, but there was, well, I guess I should have waited, but okay. <laughs> I already started doing this, so I came here, and what I like to do first is delete, oh, bless his name, mm -mm. not you sliding down. Click on the actual project, then go to file, and now I'm going to delete generated files. Whenever I'm working or anyone's working on a project in Final Cut Pro, there are files that get generated. I don't know how to explain all of it. I think it's just to help things go faster when you come back and work on something, whatever. In gener I'm deleting rendered files, optimized media, proxy media, okay? And then I come in here and I, I command all and delete everything. And I've already done that aspect. Then I come here and delete the actual media because it gets stored into Final Cut Pro which has its own storage place on my drive. It takes up space basically that also needs to go. I used two pieces of media deleting that and then the music that I was using is here. This can stay. I'll use it another time when I do another YouTube video. So ideally or theoretically this actual project is cleared but there's always remnants of it other places and let me show you so i take the actual video and throw it in the trash that's important i gotta come to the actual drive i use this usb right here i've showed you what do you call this i always get usb and sd confused either way i have this one right here it's one terabyte one terabyte is very big it, it holds a lot if you edit on your laptop or your computer you're going to want to have a one terabyte sd card this is the one that goes into here because this jack is a usb c jack it's different obviously the external drive that i have connected to my desktop looks like a big rectangle it's just formulated differently i keep that plugged in and i just keep my computer at home anyway so that's that's that. All right, so here's my USB drive and what I need what I need to do is go into the file where the cache is. So the cache be taking up mad space. Again, I can't explain all of it. I'm just showing you what I do. I'm double click, well, two finger clicking to show package contents. Then I go to where my YouTube editing is and then you gotta delete render files that be holding up mad space. All right, I'm gonna delete the render files. We don't need any of them, move to trash. And then we're gonna delete the trash obviously too because that's huge. You can delete all this stuff. It be in your trash, still taking up space on your computer. And next thing you know, you're trying to edit something and it doesn't allow you because you need to empty out yo trash. I also did a, another video, like how I do my IG stories. I've showed you in the, in the previous vlog before. That was what I just deleted, the render files for that particular project. I have to go to original media because it saves in here as well. This, These are the actual files for it and I'm gonna delete those from the folder. I put everything in my USB. I don't keep much on my actual computer because it'll slow the computer down and we do not want that. I do like to check my downloads because many times there's stuff in there that is slowing down the actual computer and we don't need all of that. So that is how I clear everything out. Then you gotta come to your trash and empty the trash 230 items in trash gotta empty that boom done <laughs> Enemies trying to 
tell me And I ain't got what I need to be Where I wanna be God, I need, I need you, Lord I'm on my knees, on my floor Still feels like there's something missing Cause you're where I wanna be Sometimes I find myself feeling distant I don't like it, am I tripping? Cause I'm a Christian, why should I feel like this? I'm feeling kinda distant Fall and get up seven times 